The rain came down hard and fast yesterday evening in Lycoming County. About four inches of rain fell in about two hours, flooding streets, stranding cars and more. News Watch 16's Rennie Workman was in Williamsport today. She joins us now with more Rennie. Well, John, the flash flooding caused quite a mess in parts of Williamsport. Today, people got a look at all the damage and started the long process of cleaning up. This is what it looked like outside Mark Singleton's home on 5th and Park Avenues in Williamsport Saturday evening after about four inches of rain fell in two hours. The flash flooding sent three feet of water into his basement. It seemed like every storm drain in an eight block radius just backed up. The water was rushing off of High Street just steadily. It just, it just took us by surprise. With gym equipment and other belongings ruined, Singleton says it'll take a while to clean it all up. Tomorrow I need to go down there and try to bleach water, disinfect the whole basement, uh, and then I need to wipe down everything. So it's going to be about a four-day process. Over on 4th Avenue and High Street, city crews were clearing storm drains after the torrential rain inundated many in the area, turning streets like High Street into a lake. A block away, neighbors got to work themselves, clearing what Mother Nature left behind. You could see where the water had eddied and swirled and, and uh, where it had been flowing quickly. It's pretty impressive to see. Uh, I don't think I could pick up asphalt with tools, and apparently a good strong rainfall can pick it up and carry it a pretty good distance. At nearby St. Paul Calvary United Methodist Church on Memorial Avenue, the rainfall left water in the basement and members trying to get rid of the mess in the parking lot. I'm going to volunteer and help out wherever I can, you know, to clean up because it could happen anytime. It's nothing you can do, it's nature. Nature caused quite a mess on Belmont Avenue after water wreaked havoc. Just pouring down this road, pouring down the back of our house, uh, and uh, I got a little nervous at that point. Went, then I, my other son yelled, and we went downstairs, and it just broke through all the windows in my basement, came pouring through the basement. The water receded, but still so many images showing the power and devastation of flash flooding. Hope it doesn't happen again, and I hope if it does that we're a little better prepared for it. Now, the flash flooding also affected the Lycoming County Transfer Station off West 3rd Street. More than six feet of water flooded the building, several trucks, and the hydraulic system, according to officials. It will be closed on Monday, but garbage pickup will go on as usual. John? What a mess and what a surprise for the people there. All right, Rennie, thank you.